The students had reported through a survey that we do annually that they did not feel a great sense of belonging and connectiveness to their school community. Seeing and hearing voices of others helps kind of break down you know, judgment and fear and resistance to kind of some of these ideas that for some may feel really uncomfortable at first. I fight for gender equity because I believe that everyone deserves equal opportunities. Having this reporting process speaks volumes to the progress we've made as a community. Our associations represent very distinct positions in the education ecosystem. We each have our own uh, specific roles to focus on. You know, the principals are on the ground. They're focused in the school uh, every single day. The school boards are the connection to the community, and the relationship between the superintendent and the school board is critically important, uh, as well as the leadership team within the schools. COVID happened. Um, and the Vermont Community Foundation was looking for ways to help and to get support to communities in an effective and efficient manner. Coming to the school associations for support and collaboration and partnership makes sense because we are uniquely connected to every single community in the state. Providing the space and the resources for those with the courage to try something new was going to be one of the most significant levers that we could use to help support inclusive and equitable communities. We received, thankfully, $5,000 for a launching of a BIPOC affinity space that included Lamoille South and Lamoille North supervisory districts. So these spaces are really beneficial to our school districts so youth can be themselves and get to know each other. And although they have the pressures of learning the language in a new you know, culture, in a new city, in a new town, they're still able to find their own culturally identifying other youth to be just normal kids like they would be in their own home country. When I just came here I was pretty alone, you know. It's nice to have them because they speak Spanish as me so it was like a nice like support, you know, when I just came here. I think we're a, like a family together and I'm very happy to to have them. It's like a break time. It's like a time where where like you feel more free, you know, you feel like you can speak Spanish, speak English, whatever you want. You can like, Eat I don't know. Something, man. And we are Share. all good friends, so it's like. The courage, the bravery, the good ideas, they spread not only within the school, across school districts as well. And that was something really exciting to see. The real focus for our equity mini grant that we got from the Vermont Superintendents Association and the Vermont School Board Association was to create a portrait of a graduate. So students were empowered to be the ones who collected information from the community that said, what do we want from education? Everyone was asked to contribute. What do you want the outcomes to be? And then they worked to put together and compile all of this information it's an aspirational document, and at the heart of it, it is about equity for all. We were recipients of one of the equity grants last year. We started some intentional community conversations around that in advance, and that then helped to draw more people in. For us, the funding was key. Um, we were able to host the community event. We were able to provide food at the event, we were able to provide babysitting, and those are barriers for some people in attending events. We invited local community leaders from colleges, from state agencies who have expertise um, in these areas, and spent a night focusing on disability, uh, focusing on race one night, focusing on gender uh, differences, 
and uh, just allowing individuals to learn more as well as ask questions. Every time we had one of these sessions, we had a packed house um, with, uh, with everybody from early teens up through our elderly population. We brought in um, some singer, songwriter, storytellers to do uh, a community event called Race and Song that really elevated uh, some discussion around culturally relevant topics that are sometimes difficult to engage the communities in. And it was a really lovely way to begin that conversation within our communities. Many of the issues that our schools deal with are community issues. Um, by having these sort of forums, it, it, it brings our entire community together to talk about a problem and address those problems. In the Burlington School District, they use their grant funds to hire a consultant to help them work through some of their policies, looking at those through an equity lens. We thought this would be an amazing opportunity to use this grant for us to revise our policy um, and uh, include current stakeholders. We look at curriculum, faculty and staff that say, you know, we need books that reflect our student population in our libraries. We want to see um, that our students have access to reading. And that's an example of a project where the work will carry forward for years to come. Uh, so I had a couple of board members, they wanted to do uh, some board training around how to take a board policy on equity and really turn it into action. They're going through all of our other policies, our hiring policies, our curriculum policies, our hazing, harassment, and bullying policies, and they're just making sure that it has the equity policy lens covering it. So it really, it really turned into a pretty dynamic project. These funds were a lifeline for, for us and for them to be able to say, okay, you know, what should we try now? What do you think the school community needs? This work has planted the seed, dipped our toe in, so we can go ahead and start pushing more of this out, slowly but surely. I think it's important to recognize that being a welcoming and inclusive community is an ongoing journey. It really was inspiring to receive the grant because it made the board start to think, um, how might we use this grant to do something really to connect the community and create a beautiful outcome that's inspiring. For families who live in very rural communities, this kind of exposure is essential because when people don't know what's happening, sometimes there's an element of fear. When you distill it down to that essential ethos of belonging and justice and access and equity for all, there's very little to fear there and there is a lot to, you know, to celebrate.